This is Real Sales Talk. Real sales advice from real sales practitioners. Giving you tips on how to dominate your sales quota are your co host Sean Mitchell and Phil Keen. We don't have a process for referrals at most companies. I go into a company, I say, what's your referral process? They have no, well, what do you mean? I think that, I think that goes back to the premise that why do salespeople suck at prospecting? I mean, number one reason why they suck at prospecting is they don't actually do it. If you are successful and nobody knows in, 2000, in 2016, 20, 2025, you're not successful. If you ever want to find out what's going on in the company, get in the car and spend a day with the top three salespeople. You'll find out in five minutes. Because you can't be a trusted advisor without two things, trust and advice. I mean, you need both of them. What is going on, Real Sales Talk family? We are back for Tech Talk 24. I'm Phil Keen and co-host Sean Mitchell. Uh, we are we, a lot of awesome things going on. I'm actually in St. Louis right now at the Sales Hacker event. Uh, thanks to a friend, Josh Schwartz. Uh, if you guys haven't looked him up, crazy smart guy, uh, talks about sales and one of my favorite sales leaders in the US. Check him out, he's great. Sean, what is new with you? What is new with me? I've been working on uh, a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of spinning plates. Uh, one of the biggest ones though is I just finished real estate online classes, which is what you need uh, to have a certificate for in order to actually take the exam to get licensed as a real estate agent. So lots of, um, uh, it's, it's basically an indirect form of law so real estate law. So it's, I mean, y you can call me um, uh, lawyer, uh, uh, attorney Sean Mitchell. No, just kidding, not really. But um, <laughs> it, 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 it's been intense and uh, kind of just, just took another step forward uh, finishing those classes yesterday. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully uh, sometime in the near future, Sean, we will catch up with you and learn a little bit more about it. Uh, I'm interested. So hopefully uh, the rest of the real sales talk audience is also interested. So totally. What do you got today? Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about something I came across through Product Hunt, and let's see here. I'm gonna pull up the page. It's called Tetra, and so so here's the scenario: your your you've got a sales call, and because you're focusing on on moving that sale forward and not necessarily taking notes, Tetra actually transcribes the conversation for you. Uh, asktetra.com is the website and basically uh, Tetra is is basically the digital note taker so you include Tetra's email address in the sales appointment uh, bought at asktetra.com and at that time Tetra calls you and basically does kind of a, a, a joint call conference call and um, as as the conversation is going along, it's transcribing the uh, it's it's transcribing what is being talked about. So then you can go back and I, I'm I'm am terrible at this, Phil. I I have a phone call, especially if it's like back to back to back to back phone call sales calls. I'll go back and I'm like, shoot, was it did, did I have the conversation with that person or that person? What what did I need to do? You know, what did I agree to send that person? So um, this this is kind of the solution for that sort of thing. If you're a high producing sales rep and you've got back to back phone calls, this is going to be really helpful for you to be able to reference that conversation that you had from four sales calls ago earlier that day. So is this a free app that you can do? This is not a free app, this is a paid app. So this is definitely something that you wanna bring in your um, uh, sales leadership to get approval on. Uh, pricing here is uh, plus, which is three hours of transcription, 99 bucks a month, full transcripts, you know, you've got a pro package, 10 hours of transcription, $299 a month, and that gives you full transcription. And then there's, uh, maybe more of a, a higher priced, more, more customized solution as well. I love it. I mean, if you're, I'm someone who I walk around while I'm talking. Yeah. And I'm never at my computer truly taking deep, deep, deep notes because I just want to be invested in the conversation. So I love this for being able to transcribe the conversation. And rather than record it, go back later and listen to the notes and, and, and try to take notes as I listen to the recording. I love this to be able to say, it's already transcribed. I can pick out the pieces that I've, I've committed to and, and go back and also 
kind of maybe make notes even before I listen to the recording and, and try to re-listen to it. So this is yeah. awesome. Yeah, you know, one of the one of my thoughts as you're talking about that is um, being able to. So it does look like you can you can export or sh or share this information. As a as a sales manager, what I would be really interested in doing is. Um, compiling all these conversations that sales reps are doing and then searching by keywords. So if I could search for keywords that are talked about in different conversations, I'd be able to identify maybe what a high, a high producer is doing uh, that maybe low producers are not and trying to minimize that that delta between the two. So yeah, so, so uh, type any phrase or concept you remember talking about and we'll jump you right back into the conversation. So that's kind of a cool feature, um, being able to search for, for keywords as well as being able to, if you can maybe share that data through API to Salesforce or whatever other CRM and then, and then start to, to um, find those common trends with, okay, out of these 10 or 20 or 30 uh, deals that closed, what were the commonalities or what were the things that the sales reps mentioned that, that helped those deals close? I think that's interesting from a sales leader perspective. So there's, there's a couple other techs out, techs out there that will do this. So there's Exec Vision. Uh, if you guys have heard of Exec Vision, it's Steve Richards' company and Dave, Dave Silman. And there's an awesome, awesome, awesome tech out there, uh, gong.io. So there's, no, there's other stuff out there that will do exactly what we're saying, which is allows you to transcribe it. And they actually have a software that allows you to type in keywords and go find every time that keyword's been said. Uh, it's it's awesome for coaching. So if you're if you're able to take that and just get to the meat, just get to where you talk price, or just get to the place where you are having the conversation about a competitor, you can find the good ones and you can find the bad ones and you can coach the bad ones and you can also display yeah. the good ones and say, hey, this is a really good way to respond to when XYZ competitor comes up. Yep. So uh, I, I love the idea uh, of the technology that's definitely come a long way in the last 24 months. Awesome, cool. Phil, what do you got? I know you're a bit tight on time, so let you jump into your tech tool. Yeah, so mine is it's probably my secret weapon, uh, especially when you go after larger enterprise companies. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Um, get Sean's beautiful face again. Uh, so mine is Edgar. If you guys have not heard of Edgar before, it is uh, sec.gov forward slash Edgar. It's actually the uh, SEC's um, database. So anytime you go in, you can type in any company that you're that you want to look at. Um, so let's see if I go to Yahoo. I don't remember their actual. They're not a publicly traded company anymore. I got to think of a good one. Give me give me a name, Sean. Let's see. Tesla. Tesla. Let's, so let's start with Tesla. So Tesla's got a couple different groups. It's probably, it looks like this one here out of California. Yeah, this actually gives you every single report and prospectus or anytime there's been a filing to the SEC. So you can use this to, to find out some of the company initiatives. So let's go to their current report. It's one of their 8Ks. You can download the actual document. There's a lot to this. Um, but if you go into... Pretty heavy text. Let's see. This is. Let's see. Let's find. Let's see if I want to see sales. Anytime sales is mentioned. Nope. Sales only mentioned once. Uh, let's say real estate. Let's see. What you can do is you can find anything that's related back to your company. So this might be a different type of this. Is the 8K. Um, but if you find like a 10Q or a 10K. Uh, on some of their annual reportings, you can file. You can find what they filed, uh, and look at any company initiatives they have coming up. And if you have the ability to go back and find um, anything, there's a 10Q right here. So this is one of their quarterly reports. Typically, inside of this, they start talking about some of their financial information as well as some of the risks they have, as, uh, as well as how they think they can um, make their business more successful. Uh, and how they plan on doing it. So if you can align any of that back to what your company value is, it's a home run, especially when you're going into the C-level. Um, so I, I'm a big fan of, of going through and just understanding some of this. There's some of the revenue, revenue recognition, how they did it, what their services are look like, how they're gonna grow their company, um, really deep in financials. It takes some time to, to really start understanding um, how to read some of these 
but when you get good at reading it and you get used to it, uh, over time you'll start digesting um, how to have a conversation at an executive level. And it also gives you the ability to really just pick up business acumen. So if you're just curious about how an industry would work, so for you, for instance, you're going into the real estate industry, you just want to know how the real estate industry is uh, gauged right now and how they're going to grow, or is it, is it bad, or is it good, and, and any of that. By reading some of these filings, you'll start to pick up some trends that are happening. Even just understanding business acumen about conversations to, if you're selling to the farming industry, go and find anybody that's an agricultural company and go read what their business trends are and what they think is happening with the, with the landscape. It just makes you that much smarter as you start to have conversations with your prospects or even your customers and just understanding how to help their business even though you're trying to sell to them. It, it gives you the ability to be consultative because you really understand the market uh, and sometimes you even understand it better than some of your prospects. So I'm a big fan of Edgar. Um, if you guys go check it out, it's edgar.gov or sec.edgar.gov uh, and you can find it there. So and we'll link up to it in the show notes for you guys to check out. Awesome. Cool. Well, that concludes Tech Talk 24. Go take a look at Tetra and Edgar and see if it fits in, it can fit into your sales process. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next episode.